Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how can you build an audio recorder app in Bubble. So let's start. First, simply create a one page. Uh, audio recorder. I'm not very focusing on the UI as you already know. Simply say audio recorder. Uh, let's say adding one. Yes. Now there will be one, okay. Now we are going to install the plugin. Click on this plugin, add audio. Okay, I'm going to use one of my own plugin that is audio recorder and visualizer. Simply click on subscribe. Got it. And as soon as first we audio recorder, simply drag it and if you want to enable let user uh, record more than 50 MB of data, simply click on yes and increase it. Like I just want to let the user till the 100 MB, sorry, 100, not 1000, 100 MB. So this plugin basically allow to store any, there's no limit on how long the file is. Simply I just increase the size. You can also customize these color. Basically these are the audio visualizer color. I will show you. Just put a one button that say start recording. Soon, as soon as someone click on it, it will simply start a audio recorder. Uh, auto, I don't want to auto. Simple uh, mention the time in second after which audio recorder. Keep it value if you don't stop it manually. So we will stop it manually. Uh, you the file name is simply same file name. No issue. And same as start, we will just create one more button. That's all. Stop. Stop recording. Simply add it as a stop recording. Yes, save. Yes, we want to save the generated data into the bubble DB. Same file name. And as soon as it stop. I just want to create an entry into the DB. So that my files would be stored. So create a new type audio recorded file URL record file URL. We simply text type and we say this order audio file URL. Next, the total duration, how long user have stored it, how long user have recorded, it should be the number, this audio, recording time and duration, perfect. Now, if we just preview it, let me see how it look like. Yes, you first need to give the permission for the microphone, allow it and simply say start recording. So now whatever we are talking is just visualizing, looking good and as soon as we stop it, it will stop and automatically uh, back up the file. Wow! Beautiful! So what we need to do is, we need to check in audio if it actually stored something or not. Yes, it already stored the code file. So one thing is we need to put air alert something so that we actually know recording stopped. Audio recording stopped. Perfect. Now we add a one more action here. Start recording for predefined time like 20 second, 30 second for 30 second, let's suppose audio record for 30 seconds simply add the workflow now we simply say start recorder here instead of a zero we will pass 30 whatever the time you want to simply say yeah right that's pretty it and one more time since we are doing it we also want to show the timer basically how much second it's remaining so it's going to be the show the timer so it will be 
audio recorder remaining recording time in minute and this one audio recorder second thing that works simply so basically that will call, tell us the timer basically how much out of the 30 second is done so let me just make it as a bold so actually it is so perfect now we will do it okay now we will say simply say start audio recorder now if i click on it we start recording now you can see the timer is also start like 0, 0 26 second 25 second and after 30 second it automatically stopped so let's wait for the 30 second to complete so it should record as soon as i stop it no visualizer is there so basically visualizer mimic how fast i am speaking how loud i am basically speak as you can see automatically after 30 seconds stopped and we got a our al alert and if you see the data we automatically got a recording for the total duration of the 30 second so i think that's it pretty much for the this video i hope you liked this short clips video how can you build your own audio recorder go buy that plugin if you have any issue just uh, comment it out i will help you out